So I keep on saying over and over again, the HTML is for the semantics, not for making it look pretty, not for making it des making the visual design. Now we're getting to CSS. Now we actually get to do some visual design. And, and let's just say I want to go crazy and make this uh, title, this heading rather, be uh, the color green. So um, here's our here's our index. This is the HTML for that page, and you'll see that we do have an element here that is tortoise meat, and the uh, this is an H1 element. And uh, remember, an element consists of the open tag, the close tag, and then all the stuff in between. So this is our H1 element, the thing that we want to attach this style to. We also have from before this link rel equals style sheet and it's linking to a sheet called style.css this hasn't broken anything so far even though this style.css doesn't exist it just the browser probably hits it and just says eh, it's not there i'm not going to be worried about it no biggie but let's go ahead and create that and um, we'll say file save as and we'll save it as style.css um, and now we can kind of leave the index alone for now and work on style.css. And remember that the thing we want to uh, select is the h1 element. And then we have a, an open and a close here. So um, this, this is a curly bracket, OK? So we've got um, h1 with an open and a close. This is called the selector. It says this, is the, this selects the thing that we want to change or the thing that we want to apply uh, these things to. Um, we have a selector and then we have um, some sort of a property. Um, let's say uh, color and a value, green. So every one of the rules that we're going to apply to this selected element has a property, a colon, and then a value or more values, one or more values, and then a semicolon. Don't forget that semicolon. It's an easy thing to forget and it will mess up your CSS. So just as a habit, keep on putting that semicolon in. So let's file save and we're going to reload this and hooray it's green so um, what else can we do with this well we'll get into more once we have the basic structure here of a selector uh, a, a property and a value we can kind of just keep on adding our vote to our vocabulary uh, so let's go ahead and do a background um, actually let's do a border uh, one pixel uh, dotted and we'll make it uh, blue. This is not going to be pretty. Um, we'll save and we'll refresh. Note that the H1 here, even though you can't see this, the H1 element actually stretches all the way across the screen. No matter how big the screen is, that's how far the H1 element stretches, just because of the way the flow works. We'll talk more about that later, but you see that I've created a one pixel wide dotted uh, border around the h1 element we could also provide a background uh, to that we could say uh, background is yellow note that it doesn't matter what order i'm putting these in i just randomly put that between those two and if we file save and then we refresh we have this really frightening um, header for the page all right, so um, we'll go from there, but I, this basic pattern extends on as we talk about different ways of selecting things and different properties we can apply to those selections.